At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Please? Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! 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 Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Please? Please? Madam President! Please! What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders.
Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice of RK 800 model recognized. You are not authorized to use this elevator. Please Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. You'll feel better now. Don't stay here. There are 
soldiers everywhere. You need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. My wife is expecting me, and we're gonna- Got orders to check all civilians. No. No! Please! Fucking androids. Alice. She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go, before they see you. Alice! Luther! <laughs> I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they called me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. 
The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. This is genocide. You're killing millions of us. We demand the immediate liberation of all androids detained in camps. We're not leaving until you let our people go. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Stay sharp.
Connor? And I'll spare him! Sorry, Connor. This bastard's your spitting image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus has left the terminal. There will be no more buses until further notice. We missed it. We're stuck here. What are we going to do now? Kara! We're checking everyone. It won't take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. I saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler. Who can get them across the river? It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! That should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. People have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different.
Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Don't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. How many more of us have to die? Is there any cause worth giving your life for? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. Are you asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. 
You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right, you win. manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. 
Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Anybody see you? No, 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 I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay, your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. Not even a half a mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. You take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Freedom is just across the river. Better not fall in. Our bio components will freeze.
help you? Far enough out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. We won't have to be afraid anymore. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no, no slaves. We'll start a new life. A life of freedom. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? I don't want to feel fear anymore. I want to live a normal life. And be happy. They're coming towards us! The boat is leaking! We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink.
gonna die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. Interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. them to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. 
this is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda? What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds, where we forgive our enemies. Humans were both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free.
Wake up. Alice! Yes. <laughs>